Sam and Sailor are at the supermarket. They have come to buy a number of items for the party they are having at their house. They want to buy cupcakes. Box A has four chocolate cupcakes and two vanilla cupcakes. Box B has two chocolate cupcakes and four vanilla cupcakes. Let's look at some examples of addition. Notice that in each case, the sum of the two whole numbers is the same, regardless of the order of the addends. This property is known as the commutative property of addition, and we say that whole numbers are commutative under addition. There are six cupcakes in each box, and Sam has loaded four boxes in his shopping trolley. Meanwhile, Sela has picked up some crates of juice. Each crate contains four bottles of juice, and she has six crates in her trolley. Take a look at these examples of multiplication of whole numbers. Notice that regardless of the order in which the numbers are multiplied, the product is the same. This property is known as the commutative property of multiplication, and we say that whole numbers are commutative under multiplication. Sam and Sela have 24 bottles of juice. Next, they pick up a pack of 12 straws. How many more straws are required? Will the result be the same in subtraction if the order of the numbers changes? In other words, can the commutative property be ascribed to subtraction? The difference is not the same in each case. Let's look at some more examples. As you can see, the results differ depending on the order in which the whole numbers are placed. Therefore, the commutative property cannot be ascribed to subtraction. Now, let's say that Sam and Sela want to divide 24 cupcakes equally among 12 paper plates. They've laid out 12 plates for the guests. How many cupcakes should they serve in each plate? Will Sam and Sela arrive at the same result if they change the order of the numbers? In short, can the commutative property be ascribed to division? As you can see, the result differs when the order of the numbers is changed. Here are a couple of examples. The division of whole numbers depends on the order in which they are placed. Hence, the commutative property cannot be applied to division.